What's going on everyone? In this video, we are doing another reaction video. So this video, we're reacting to my 100 backstroke at the Pac-12 Championships up in Federal Way. This was one of my last swims ever, and it was a really fun one. I had a big goal of going under 46. We're gonna go see what happens. Do I break it? Do I not? We'll see. Make sure to stick around for the celebration that insinuates as I finish. As always, make sure to like and subscribe to the video. Without further ado, let's get right into it. I really like these reaction videos. I hope you guys do too. Let's just start blasting them out, breaking them down with some teammates and myself. So I knew a good amount of people in this heat. So it was really cool. Um, I think I that morning I qualified like 10th and 12th or something, I want to say. And so I should have theoretically been the B final, but since I was non-scoring, uh, because Cal has so many wonderful backstrokers, I was put in the C final. Thankfully, they had enough room for me because two of my teammates didn't even get to compete in the final. A lot of great competition in the C final as well. I was really excited just to get a second swim. Pac-12s is up in Federal Way, which is really close to where I'm from, Seattle area. And so this is like my home pool. So it was really fitting that my last swim meet kind of went out at my home pool, super fun. As you can see, we're all diving in now. I'm all the way up there in lane eight, that yellow cap up there. So despite being in lane eight, I think I qualified like a second faster than everyone else in this field. Ooh, tough break out there. Yeah, so something I, I never really got was like a perfect transition from my underwaters to my breakout. Good tempo, honestly, for me. I really struggle with tempo, but here's the part, that long turn right there. I'm not even out first. I should definitely be out first in this race. I think I was 23-0 going out. You gotta be like a half second faster if you're trying to be a 46 in the 100 backstroke. You cannot go out 23 and expect to come back that fast. I made a close run for it though. My underwaters on that last wall really propelled me. They start to notice. And they need to take note because your boy won the heat. 47-5 uh, by no stretch of the means. Oh, here we go. Celebration. I was excited. Why? Just because it wasn't a great race for me, but it, I realized in hindsight, like I have to enjoy every little moment that I have left in this sport. Um, the next morning I had my last collegiate swim ever, and now I'm done with swimming. I don't know, maybe I'll have to come back in masters or something, but this is one of my last swims. I knew it could potentially be one of my last final swims. So I really just wanted to celebrate. I added like a half second, but who cares? It's about getting your hand on the wall first, enjoying the moment, and firing up the rest of your teammates. I know that I fired up a couple of my teammates who were in the B and A finals after that, so it was really awesome to do that for them. And yeah, I had a really great time. Pac-12 championships closing out my career. I'm glad I have this video of me celebrating. Yeah, just live in the moment, guys. So yeah, without further ado, I hope you guys like that little race breakdown. As you can see, some things that I definitely need to focus on are some going out speed, and I also need to focus on getting over on those turns and making a perfect transition from my underwaters into my actual swimming. So yeah, if you guys wanna make sure to use those tips in your guys' races, make sure to like and subscribe to the video if you like these type of videos, and comment what video you want me to react to next. Until next time, go Bears.